This is Common Core State Standard Support video in mathematics. The standard is 3MDA2. This standard states, measure and estimate liquid volumes and masses of objects using standard units of grams, kilograms, and liters. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide to solve one-step word problems involving masses or volumes that are given in the same units. For example, by using drawings such as a beaker with a measurement scale to represent the problem. Let's first focus on the initial statement that deals with measuring and estimating liquid volumes and masses. Now there might be some challenges in finding measurement instruments that meet the limitations that exist at this grade level. Let's see what those limitations are. First, let's look at uh, measuring and estimating masses. Now a lot of the scales that are out there are probably digital. But digital scales are going to typically utilize decimals. And that poses a real challenge because decimals do not appear in the Common Core State Standards until grade four. At grade three, the expectation is still that they're going to be working with whole numbers. You also have these types of scales, you know, these spring type scales, but a lot of them are going to use English units of measure, you know, pounds and ounces. But we're supposed to use grams and kilograms. We're in the metric system. Even if you're able to find this type of scale that is marked off in grams and kilograms, there's going to be a problem with the increments because the likelihood is that they're going to be marked off in tenths to match the metric system being a base 10 or decimal system. Let's say you want to go with a balance type of a scale. And so you're going to have uh, weights in one kilogram increments that you can use. And let's say you wanted to weigh these three books. So we put them on the scale, and then we're going to put uh, some of those one kilogram weights on there. But since that not, that's not very precise, you know, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, uh, so more than likely it's going to be unbalanced. And the temptation is going to be, well, we have some smaller weights, like maybe you have some that are 100 grams each. So let's use some of these smaller ones, and we'll put them on there until we get this to balance out. Now we have a problem because when students solve problems for this standard we have to be using the same units. Plus students are not expected to be able to convert between grams and kilograms. Now we do have these types of scales and you will be able to find them uh, in the metric system using grams and kilograms. And in fact, uh, let's say you have one like this one that's marked off in increments of 50 grams each. You can probably find some scales that are also calibrated to be more precise, say something like the second one that's marked off in increments of 5 grams. And if you want to weigh some heavier objects, you might be able to find some in kilograms uh, that are marked off to certain degrees of precision. Again, keep in mind though that Whatever problem students uh, have to do, you have to be dealing with the same units. Now let's look at measuring and estimating liquid volumes. When dealing with liquid volumes, we're actually addressing standard 3MDB4 that states generate measurement data by measuring lengths using rulers marked with halves and fourths of an inch. Now how do these connect? Well, if you look at your ruler, typically you measure length horizontally. But if you have students measure uh, length vertically, you know, something like this where we uh, again rotate our ruler, then it's easy to see that the increments that are marked off on your ruler are going to correspond directly to the increments that are marked off in measuring cups. So let's look at uh, what might happen with uh, measuring cups using the metric unit of liters. Well, four liters is about four quarts, which is a gallon. And so uh, you know, we could have a measuring cup of four liters. However, the limitation to whole numbers would necessitate increments of one liter, which again is not very precise. But the fact that this is just marked off in liters, that's okay. It's not real precise, but notice that the standard says that students are expected to estimate. So, for example, uh, let's say uh, they poured some liquid into this measuring cup, and let's say it came up to about here. 
So the student can estimate, well, that's close to three liters, and that's what they use for their measurement. And they can then solve whatever the problem was, and they're using whole numbers. Let's say you have a measuring cup, and it's one liter. Well, the one liter capacity, that makes sense, but the increments might be problematic. There's a standard 3NBTA2 that states that students are supposed to fluently add and subtract within a thousand. Now, let's say a student uh, had a problem where they, they measured off uh, a liquid volume, and let's say it was 600 milliliters. And then they uh, had another cup and they measured off that same uh, liquid, and let's say it was 800 milliliters. And they're supposed to combine them together. Well, 600 and 800 that's 1400 and so you violated the d restriction uh, that's posed by this standard 3NBTA2 because they're supposed to stay within a thousand. Now there's a question when you get to a thousand milliliters because that is equivalent to one liter. And again students need to be working within the same units so we can't be mixing up liters and milliliters. But here's a catch. Uh, liters are mentioned in the standard, but you, you have a measuring cup that's measured also with increments of milliliters. But this standard seems to restrict measurement of liquid volume to liters, so that eliminates the use of milliliters as units. Uh, it's interesting that uh, for mass, we have grams and kilograms, but for liquid volume, we only have liters, so we're restricted to that. So in looking at the first part of this standard, we're going to have two problems here. First, the types of measurement instruments available. Uh, that might be a, a real problem for you. But the big headache here is that there's no decimals at third grade. So there seems to be a little bit of a mismatch because the metric system is a base 10 system but students at this level are only using whole numbers. Now let's look at the second part of the standard that deals with uh, solving one-step word problems uh, using the four operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Again, we have to keep uh, this standard in mind, 3BTA2, that uh, the addition and subtraction has to stay within 1,000. But we will be addressing a second standard here, 30AA3, this states that you use multiplication and division within 100 to solve word problems and situations involving measurement quantities. And that's what we are doing when we address 3MDA2. So let's look at a few uh, examples of word problems here. Let's take this one. You poured 60 liters of water into a barrel. You return to it days later and realize that the barrel has a leak. It now has 40 liters of water in it. So the first question here would be, well, how much water leaked out? So it would be a basic uh, subtraction problem where they would subtract uh, 40 from 60. But you could add a second question to this. If this leaking occurred at a constant rate for five days, about how many liters did it leak each day? So again, they'd have to take their solution of 20 liters and it's a basic division problem where they'd have to figure out, well, I, I split that out among five days, uh, which would be five into 20, which would be four. So it would leak about four liters each day. Let's do a second example. You have a farmer, and he takes a cow to the auction. The weight of the cow is determined by weighing the trailer and the cow on a freight scale. Then the cow is unloaded, and the empty trailer is weighed. So the difference between the two is going to be how much the cow weighs. So if the weight of the trailer and the cow together was 863 kilograms, and the weight of the trailer empty is 585 kilograms, how much does a cow weigh? So it would be a subtraction problem uh, within 1,000, where you would simply subtract 585 from 863 to get the weight of the cow. Let's take another example. David was curious as to how much the books weighed that he has to carry in his backpack. So he weighed them using this type of scale. And if you look, it looks like it's about 4 kilograms. And so the question is, if 9 students in the class have to carry those same set of books, what's the total weight of all those books? Well, let's see. Each one is carrying about 4 kilograms. 
there's nine of them, so it's a basic multiplication problem. In looking at the activities and the problems that you would use for this standard, if we look at the standards for mathematical practice, uh, from the first four, we would be utilizing and addressing uh, number one, which says make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. And then when we look at the rest of the standards for mathematical practice, we would be using tools strategically. We'd be uh, measuring uh, mass with the scales, and we'd be measuring uh, liquid volume with our different cups. And then we would be looking for and making use of structure, uh, looking for patterns, and so forth.